good evening, church. This is Pastor Dennis Sanders of First Christian Church of St. Paul here with your weekly check-in. And so this week I wanted to talk about where our church finds itself, especially in this time that we're living in. So I've been poking around um, TikTok and um, trying to figure it out. I've been kind of hesitant in diving into TikTok, partially because of the connection to the Chinese Communist Party and and privacy concerns. But I also know that this is a place where a lot of people are. Um, So I'm going to try to be a little bit careful and try to dive in and see what this is all about. What's the big deal? And one of the things that I'm learning now as an older member of Generation X is that I'm at this point now where it's really hard to keep up with tech. That wasn't the case 15 years ago. When I was younger, I felt like in some ways I was on the vanguard when it came to social media. Um, Obviously, there were younger people, millennials, that were really into this, but I felt like I, I could... I held my own because I was used to some of this stuff. These days, not so much. It's really now the younger millennials and Generation Z that eat, sleep, and breathe all of this. And they are really the ones that are into TikTok. Um, Facebook is so 2008. Um, TikTok is where everything is at. And the funny thing about this medium these days is how much you have to grab people quickly. And when I mean quickly, it's within a few seconds. This is not the space for long talks and you're not going to be doing soliloquies. This is the place where you hit people hard with the facts and, and, and go out and go on your way. A lot of our society today is about having a hook, having something that you can kind of get people to know about someone with quickly, within a few seconds. It's about something about grabbing people's attention. And in a sense, there's nothing wrong with this. That's the way that we look at life. And to be honest, when I was in college, Back in the late 80s and early 90s, even then, writing as I did for, for, as I learned in journalism school, is you had to have a a lead that was going to grab people's attention. The difference then was that it was just words. Now it's, it's the whole thing, video, everything. This has also found its way into the church. And now this is where it can be okay, but... Maybe not always okay. I've been to a number of conferences where the idea is that congregations now, you just can't be the generic church. You have to have a hook. You have to have something that makes you stand out from all of the other churches because people are looking for that unique thing that will draw them in. And again, there is something about this. You know, there is a sense of who are we? Who is a church all about? But do we always need a hook? Does the gospel always need a hook? I'm not certain. I know that there are a lot of churches out there that do have a certain hook that brings people in. It could be, and I do know of churches out there that their main focus is on LGBTQ people and or people who have been hurt by religion. Or there are congregations that are really deep into progressive politics. There is something that they have, it's a hook, that brings people and says, this is where we should be. And the thing is, it's rather successful. 
But then I wonder, would that work for First Christian? Does that work for all churches? And I don't think so. I've been reading this book by Andrew Root. He is a professor, actually at my alma mater, Luther Seminary in St. Paul. And the book is called Church and the Crisis of Decline. And of course, it's written really with the whole point of talking about uh, churches, especially mainline Protestant churches, that they are dealing with shrinking um, uh, shrinking membership and shrinking budgets and how so many of these churches feel like they have to do something to get people to stop the decline. And he talks about how our culture wants people to expend energy because doing Doing things show signs of life. And so churches get involved. And I've seen this even in churches around here, and especially in our own denomination. They get involved in expending energy. Usually a pastor has this idea. And that if they do this or if they do that, that's going to stop the decline. And what happens, though, is that the people end up tired. And those churches end up closing because... The people are just exhausted. And he writes that instead of hurrying and doing things as if activity in and of itself is a sign of life, we have to learn to wait. That being a Christian is about being and that a church is about being. Now, Waiting, when he talks about waiting, it's not quietism. It's not just sitting and doing nothing. But it's actually being active in some ways. Doing the things that you do in life. But it's to make space for God. Waiting is about being active. Whether that's being active in prayer, in corporate worship, in Bible study. You're waiting and you're and, but you're doing stuff, knowing and waiting to see where God is going to be present. Now, I don't want to say that TikTok is bad or having a hook is bad. But I am wondering sometimes, does a church need to have a hook? And does our church need to have a hook? Are we called to have a hook? Maybe not. This is something that actually has been on my mind for quite some time, and I just have never put it into words. But maybe for First Christian, it's not about a hook. Maybe it is about waiting for God and attending to the things that make for the life of a church and being in worship and regular communion, especially as we are as disciples, and Bible study, and care for the poor. Maybe it makes sense for us to focus on these things, to focus on the tasks that are part of church life. And that also includes fellowship with one another. Sometimes instead of a hook, maybe we just need to be a congregation. Now, I don't want to make it sound like we won't try new things or do new things. There are ideas that I've been thinking about as a congregation. But I don't think that the the things are the things that should are about expending energy. I'm hoping that it will be also a part of our waiting and being active in our waiting. This church has gone through a lot in the last, especially just two years. We went through COVID. We didn't meet for over a year in person. We've lost members. We sold our building, gave up a whole lot of stuff moved to another part of town and we're having to try to figure out how to do this all over again. But there's also been some positives. We have actually gained a few new people. 
And this move has made us feel that we can start anew and maybe focus a little bit more on being the church. I don't know, like I said, if we need a hook. I'm pretty sure you probably don't. I think what we need to be right now is to be the church. Not to do church, but to be the church. To be that witness in our neighborhood. And I look forward to that. I hope that you do as well. That's it for this week. If you ever have any questions, feel free to um, drop me a line, drop me an email, or respond to this video. Take care, everyone. Godspeed.